Hello and thank you for coming to my video today guys, I really appreciate it. Uh, what we're going to be going over today is my normal weekly update with what's going on in the Cardano ecosystem. I'm going to give you all the information you need to stay up to date and then we're going to be going over the FF testnet news, what's been going on, the new exercises that have been coming out, um, the pledge value, the usual stuff, and then also ledger integration on Daedalus and then also uh, ledger integration on Euroi Mobile. Um, but before we jump into that, I was thinking about starting a Discord server. Comment Discord down below if that'd be useful to you. What it would be is just a place where you can, to, can talk to me and get support from me and other people, um, just about anything Cardano, and then also like setting up a stake pool and stuff. So just comment one word Discord down below, and then if we get enough people, then I will open that up. I just, I already have my Twitter. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, this is where I post all my news. I posted something earlier today that I would like to share. Uh, I'm going to start selling cryptocurrency t-shirts to monetize my channel. More information is coming soon, but the main goal is to give myself a small venue of revenue so I can keep doing this. I'm currently doing worse than the federal minimum wage uh, with a smiley face and a tear coming down. It's not a big deal. I just would like to uh, get some revenue coming in so I can keep doing this or else I'll have to get a job, you know, the usual. Uh, if you guys want to support me, you could always send me BAT, send me cryptocurrency down below or delegate to my stake pool. We're currently at 3.5 million. Uh, my goal after this video is going to be 5 million. We couldn't do it in the last video. We actually went down, but it would be really cool to get 5 million. Nonetheless, I'm happy with 3.5. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you guys today, if you'd missed it, um, ADA's at 833 Satoshis. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to talk about trading or anything. I just wanted to say, wow, that's it's pretty cool. It's happening. We're pumping a little bit. Um, could we go back down? Could go back up? You know, stuff happens. And then I also want to show you a little clip from Charles AMA that came out. Uh, you guys should watch this. It came out on May 29th. Um, this has to do, to me, it's really important because uh, the ideologies that Cardano was founded on are really important. And with Shelly coming out, not really many people have been talking about them. Um, just, just because of all the stuff, that, all, all the other stuff to talk about. But this is one of the things that I always thought was really important. And I wanted to share this and then talk about it afterwards. Products. And we try to empower people, enable people, and we do care a lot about the people who have the least amongst us. We have a very simple test for the protocols that we design. They have to be fair. And fair means that it doesn't matter where you came from, what geography you're born into. It doesn't matter which, whether you won the genetic lottery or not. Uh, you have equal access and equal right to the system as Bill Gates does and Jeff Bezos does. Um, you can't predict these things. Some people are born with terrible disabilities. Some people are born in places with no internet and terrible infrastructure and in absolute abject poverty. Uh, and we shouldn't create a society in a world where if you get lucky, that's the only way you can live well. We should create a world where because of the amazing technology we have and all the social progress we've made, that no matter where you're born or what, what happens to be your life story, you have something that can allow you to live well and comfortably and with dignity. The point of these protocols is that they can deliver this to the world, uh, and we do so without the use of force. One of the reasons why I despise socialism, communism, these systems, and they're all So the reason I showed that today in this video is because we're talking about the parameters that we're setting up for stake pools. We've been talking about them a lot, pledge, um, the optimal number of stake pools and, and everything else that's important. And these ideologies that we founded Cardano on are very, very important when selecting these values. And I just, to me, this made me feel good because in the sense of if he's, he's directly relating this to the Cardano ecosystem and we have to keep in mind people from different countries and whether they can afford a high pledge value because I made a video a while ago uh, and I was very nervous about the pledge value. I still am a little bit nervous about it, but I was just essentially stating in that video that with ADA at four cents, I mean, a, it's going to take you 5,000 ADA to get, um, we can run the numbers real quick, just so I'm not talking. So we'll just say 500,000 is a, is a good amount of pledge to, uh, to be able to stand up from other people. So at five cents, that's, that's $25,000. Um, and, and what I was trying to say in that, in that video I made a while ago, my pledge video is that that's, that's really hard for a lot of people to come up with. And then if we, if we do something smaller, I think this is what I talked about in my video is a hundred thousand at five cents. 
a hundred thousand at five cents is five thousand dollars, and I, I think that'll be probably be on the lower end of the pledge. Um, it's really important because people in in impoverished places that don't have a high minimum wage, uh, it's it's almost impossible for them to come up. That could be a whole yearly wage for them, um, and I mean it's probably a whole yearly wage for a lot of college students. And I don't think that we should um, just leave leave the network to people that have money. And um, I just kind of wanted to accompany that. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, do you think that we should be inviting to everyone to be stake pool operators? Or do you think that we should just leave in people that, that have money that were in early that have ADA? Because $5,000 is a lot of money for a lot of people. Um, and that's not even taking into account people in um, second or third world countries. Because, I mean, 5000 is a lot to me and I'm in a first world country. So the next thing I want to show you guys is the video from Sebastian from Emergo. Uh, they're announcing Ledger Nano X integration for Roy. This is really cool. Um, I, there's nothing really to show you in this. I was thinking about downloading the app, but I don't have a Ledger Nano X, so it was pointless. But you guys, anyone who has a Ledger Nano X then also has your Roy mobile, you can now use your Ledger on that and be more secure, which is pretty cool. And then the the... Big update that we had on Thursday was they announced Shelly's date, which is pretty cool. I made a quick video about this, but I did want to touch on it because it is my weekly recap video. I'm not going to go over too much. Um, so early pioneers, this is where they brought the 19 people in. Um, May 25th, the second cohort, this is where we brought in the two more pioneers per pioneer. And then on June 9th, they announced the public test net and faucet. So this is when everyone else can join the network. Uh, this is when you guys, as my viewers and as people who hold Cardano, you guys have to download this testnet wallet. Uh, you have to set up stake pools. We have to put a big load on this network to find any issues in it. I mean, it's really important. I'm going to be making a lot of videos before this date. I mean, it's coming up pretty quick. I mean, it's nine days away, so there's not going to be too many videos. But right now, I'm telling you, this is a call to action from Big Pay. Yo, boy, you have to download this testnet and use this faucet and delegate your ADA to any pool and put a lot of load on the network because we have to find if there are any issues before June 30th. So, and then June 16th is a Shelly testnet wallet available. Um, so this testnet faucet is really gonna only be for people that know uh, Cardano CLI commands. I'll probably make a video showing you guys how to create a wallet and delegate in there early just so you can. Uh, but June 16 is when the actual test net wallet comes out. So when you'll be able to choose pools and delegates and delegate. And then June 23rd is the hard fork combinator test. And then if everything goes great there, uh, the balance check test will go through. And then the Shelly code release target is June 30th. Um, and then after that, the backup date is going to be July 7th. And then um, August 3rd is when they're stating ITN rewards will be available. And then August 18th is when staking rewards will start. So that's really cool. Uh, I don't think all these dates are firm. It, it all relies on the hard fork combinator test and then any issues we find through here. Um, like I've been mentioning, we haven't really found any game breaking issues yet so far. So the next thing I wanted to talk about in this video today is the status update from the devs. I think this is really cool. I think we should kind of... Um, fantasize a little bit about what the devs are doing just so we can give them some support. Uh, so what I did this, this instead of reading through all of it, I picked a couple things that were really important, um, especially the one from the Daedalus wallet. This week, the Daedalus team focused on finishing the hardware wallet integration, which will enable support for Ledger Nano S and Ledger Nano X devices. Support for Tracer devices will be added next week. Oh, well, Daedalus support for Ledger. It's finally here. I'm going to be having a video on how you guys can set that up when it's out. Uh, really excited for it. I'm happy to announce that. Um, and the other cool thing that they talked about was the DevOps team. Uh, the DevOps team, the team managed to get the friends and family test net working or network working. Pools are now up and running. Pioneers are accruing awards and the initial implementation of the Shelly faucet is now complete and a public URL will be published shortly. Um, this is pretty cool. Uh, this happened a little bit earlier last week. Uh, but they got the faucet up and running. So now if you have the right API key, which I'm not allowed to give out yet, you can just um, do one command and then get some uh, some ADA, which is pretty cool. 
Um, and then the one of the last things I wanted to talk about today is the new Pioneer Exercise 6. Um, so in the last exercise, we registered a stake pool, pledged to it, and started blocks. In this exercise, we'll investigate some additional pool parameters. And pretty much what we're doing is we're running multiple stake pools, changing the parameters of each pool, and then after that, we're retiring the pools. So what does it mean by retiring? So if you remember in the ITN, it cost 500 ADA to start up a stake pool. And what happened then was you use the 500 ADA and then it would burn it and you would never be able to see that ADA again. Uh, what they're actually doing now is when you start a pool, it locks a certain amount of ADA. So let's say 500 into um, just something. It, it locks it up, kind of like a, a smart contract in a way. And then when you retire the pool, you actually get that ADA back. So what they're doing is they're just showing us um, just how to do that and then we're testing some pool parameters and then we're just getting some people going. Um, it's pretty cool. So the usual questions I ask at the end of these videos are, are there any issues so far? What is the A not parameter? Um, so issues so far, um, none. I haven't ran into any. All of my issues have been with the documentation. They've all been fixed at this point or we've moved on to new documentation so the issues don't even matter anymore. Um, the A not parameter is still set at 10. Um, yeah, and that's really it. So I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. And then if you guys would like, um, if you made it to this part of the video, type in 1246 in the comments down below. I'd really appreciate that. I always love seeing you guys comment that. And then um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I love answering your questions. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful day and goodbye.